So we'll do this final. Uh, I was really interested in seeing the other ending for the summer job. So I'm just going to quickly do it. I don't think it'll be longer than five minutes because I've skipped to the this section. Azami. We've, we've done the whole punk gen thing. That fight again. It's exactly the same. And then they meet and she's angry. Do you know each other? You might say that. Huh. How do you think I felt these past? I always forget it was just six months. It felt like they'd been apart for years. <laughs> uh, a Zami. He drives cars and gives out candy. Stay out of this kid. Doesn't concern you. Ellipses. Never seen her this mad. When are you calling yourself Rabu? I feel like a. I feel like a lot of this stuff goes over my head because <laughs> I remember being a sexy character as I was then. Back then. Hosokawa Blaster! Cut it into your souls. It's such a Japanese name for a hardcore biker as well. Like you, when you watch these things, they're always called something that they think sounds really cool, but sounds really lame by our cultural standards. Like you know, that like there won't there isn't a biker alive in the West called Blaster. <laughs> so, yeah, my name's Blaster. Everyone's just gonna look at him like, okay, biker mouse. Even the biker mice had better names than that. I think they were called like Throttle and Moto and Vinny, which is like, you can always see that. It's like being called Talk. Uh, anyway. Hell's Birdies. These biker gangs are fucking lame. You don't get it, kid. You're a rookie. You can ride with the law. Ride with the law. Ride with the law. When you ride, you ride on the inside. Just like a priest song. Heading out to the DMV. <laughs> so wild they have never breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> the heroes don't run away. And you did. As soon as I confessed my love, you were gone. Yeah, Rabu, you dick, just running out on Azami. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that the owner of the cafe is just sat there, like, <laughs> polishing glasses. It's too late. <laughs> Mr. Fava Bean. Mr. Father Bean! Oh. <laughs> Fits so well. I'm like fat man. <laughs> Savagery. He's not even like he's a bird though. As army subjects Mr. Father Bean to a harrowing tirade over his new physique. This very Mr. Father Bean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Has she really stopped loving this? You don't have to keep calling him Mr. Father Bean. I should bring up. Last time we did martial arts and he kicks her ass. She kicks his ass. So we're going to do the other one because I want to see the ending. Ah, uh, there we go. I don't think you forgot Mr. Father Bean. What's all this, Yoko? I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it. Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name. Duang. Duang. I saw it when we first met. 
writing his name right on a vehicle like that. She loves him. I'm sure of it. You still like Mr. Papa Beef? Just call him Rabu. Yeah, okay, my name isn't. I saw it with my own two eyes when you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws. You're pretty sharp for a human kid. Kind of racist, but fine. She's right, I haven't forgotten you. Well, a sad story, you left without even saying no, and I'm still chasing your shadow. A zammy eye. Trying to sympathize with me? No thanks, I've had enough of that. Threw me away. There's something that can change that. No, Zami, listen to me. I never threw you away. I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. I was a hero on the midnight roads, but would I be a good father? Think about it. Any guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that. Is the hero of the midnight riders really supposed to be that timid? I sat down and I thought I had to go straight. I could have made, couldn't have made you happy like that. You. I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you when I'd save money, but that wasn't good either. Maybe this is destiny. Like Billikum said, our souls are being tested even now. Your Sakawa blaster, your eyes look like they did back then. Azami, enough girl talk. Marry me. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> of course. And the difference between me saying scooter and martial arts. That's it? Oh, we're good. Wait, no, it's not over yet. Stop the credits. <laughs> this is supposed to be the story of my romance, not theirs. Who did that? Who <laughs> started the ending scene? Jeez. That's kind of amazing, Mr. Urushihara. I'm great at words. Yes, a little excitement here and there is not a bad thing. Such things just make our lives richer. I wonder if my life is richer. In no doubt it is. Well then, a few more hours until we close, Miss Yoko. Yes, sir. Those who want to see others, <clears throat> those who want to be seen, the soothing mecca for all such people, Torimi Cafe, Poco's Forest, was that the name of the cafe? Oh my god, it's a real cafe! <laughs> bird flavored ice cream, tea next to chattering birds, curry roast to die for, is this just an ad? This is just an ad! <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, the kids are starting to screech outside. Like the demon children they are. You can't tell the difference between kids just running and chasing each other for fun and them literally being murdered. Like, kids just make it so that it's so hard to tell if you should be alarmed or not. Because they sound almost the same. Just... Ah! <laughs> You're just like... Is that kid being murdered? Should I go outside and, like, stop a murder? Or is he just running around pretending to shoot his friend with finger guns? Fucking kids. <laughs> We're in the middle of Kobe, a little ways from Osaka. If you still haven't had your fill of eating company, the zoo is just around the corner. Fantastic Tarimi Cafe. Birds are waiting here for you. Whoa, that's really old. This game is old. It's like nine years old. Oh, is it still there, do you think? I shall be waiting here in my birdcage for you. Fuck. Carve it into your soul, kid. Love Blaster. The game isn't over yet. The game is over. Oh, it makes it... The other one, it just finishes. I, I messed up the rest of this playthrough, so we could probably just cut there because I was like, oh, it doesn't matter, and I, like, I've done all of the standard endings, so I just clicked things at random, and it was like five different people. So I'm just going to cut here. That's Kazuaki talking. Uh, yeah, um, that was one of the last things I wanted to do with this game because everything else is like doing every single ending, which, uh, let's just 
can I stop it? I can stop it. I mean, we can save it, but I'm not going to go back to this, I don't think. Uh, and we're just going to uh, title. Uh, didn't realize it let you carry on because it's like cause you, you don't run away with his army, so by fault, because it's literally called an ending, right? So you can see we've got like three endings left, but they're all like pseudo, like halfway house the Sakuya ending, halfway house the Okasan ending, halfway house the Shu ending, you know? And you can see everything else is filled out now. And then once you've done that, once you've done that, you get the true ending for the three and a half hour long one. And I was just sat there like, I don't know if I can be bothered, you know? That's a lot of work. Yeah, it feels like some of these are new. So yeah, like, don't know if I can be bothered to show all of that, because I just don't think it's, like, going to be enough difference. You're talking about, like, hours of work in this visual novel to deliberately, like, not get the full ending for three different characters, and it'd probably literally just be a less interesting version of the ending where it just cuts off earlier, and, like, you know, Okasan goes without you, or, like... A slightly different set of like text boxes and then you're doing all that for also three and a half hours of like playing the big ending for like another like probably about two more lines of dialogue so I'm sat there like at the end saying oh and then they lived happily ever after or something like that and I'm just kind of like done with this game now <laughs> like I've pretty much burnt out on this I'm burnt out on a lot of stuff. I'm burnt out on RE3 because I've just finished that. Uh, and that's going to be going up throughout the whole of July. And um, kind of taking a break from gaming, just editing all of the stuff I have, putting it up. And I'm probably going to be dropping. You won't notice on the channel because it's all scheduled for like a month in advance now because of all of the stuff I've been doing. But um, I'm kind of burnt out. So I'm probably going to stop, maybe do some Akami playthrough, because I've got to finish that. And Crush Bandicoot and Ducati still got to keep going, but it's very casual, those LPs, so it doesn't really matter. i got to keep on with Akami, but every Akami LP man is getting copyright claims and strikes and shit. Which is making it very difficult to rapidly LP like the other LPs are because I'm scared it will affect my channel if I keep playing it in a long, in a rapid succession. Um, so yeah, uh, not many plans for the future. I finished the RE3, that's going up. You'll hear my opinions or my reactions to shit on that. I die a lot and I scare the shit out of myself like five times and get annoyed at a boss fight. And uh, I was thinking of doing RE2, the campaign I didn't do because we did Claire A. I could do Leon A, or we could do Leon B, or Claire B. I don't. Probably Leon. But that's going to be a while, <laughs> a while away. I've got to finish some LPs. Uh, yeah. That's basically all I have to say. State of the channel on the tail end of this. Um. Mostly, yeah, I'm just going to be trying to finish the casual stuff and slowly when I feel like it. And, um, mm, yeah. What else? Yeah, that's basically it. Really got to beat Okami, but that is a problem. Yeah, oh well. And maybe if I finish Crash Warped. But I'm trying to 100% Crash Warped, so, um, sorry, I'm going on a bit. Uh, I'm going to try and finish Crash 3, Crash Warped, um, 
and do all the gems and get all of the stuff if I can be bothered. It's kind of open-ended at this point. And then if we do that, I'll start playing Crash 1. And then I'll probably play Crash 2 after that. But I'm probably not going to 100% those two because it's a ball ache. Oh, I'll only be going through them standard. Uh, to be honest, Crash 3, it's still a ball ache to get the 102% you can get. It's just... <laughs> it's a lot of shit to do. So, um, yeah. We'll see how I feel at the moment taking a break. You won't see any changes, but um, probably going to take a couple of weeks of just not really gaming much. Doing some editing. Because holy shit, I sat down for RE3 and I started from like the hos the final session was from like the hospital until the end of the game. And I started at about 7 or 8. Oh yeah, I'll sit down and do a few things of this. And I was like, are we near the end? Pretty sure we're near the end. Because I've kind of pseudo-watched it in the background whilst doing other stuff, some other people's LPs. And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure this is near the end. So I just carried on. And then before I realized, it was like midnight by the time I finished. And I, I it kind of left me with huge burnout. <laughs> so I'm just going to, yeah, just going just gonna to give it a rest for a while, you know? been a bit too much all at once. Ugh. But anyway, say bye bye pigeons. Probably won't do another one of these. Yeah.